<laughs> last, last. Now everybody go chop breakfast. Or maybe not. With the way food prices are skyrocketing, you may think it is another airline. The next time you tell a Nigerian child, the sky is your limit, please consider the price of flight. <laughs> Why? Why do we treat our future like props for photo ops? What is the worth of your soul? Is it false campaign promises? The value narrow notes or just that bad do. But it is not that deep. <laughs> Who am I? It is not that deep. I have learned to deal with unpleasant situations by finding humor in everything. It helps. The politicians in my country are walking memes that I am too Nigerian to succumb to grief here. We treat catastrophes like comedy flicks. Kiki ki at the slightest unease. But justice is non existent. The sign of the cross no longer stops a bullet. Poverty is a chessboard. The queen can have scorned. The king spends more time abroad, we at the pond, and how do we forget that politicians disguised as bishops? But it is not that deep. The life expectancy of a lazy Nigerian youth is 30. We spend half of it dodging traffic, falling into potholes and early life crisis. The other half declaring, please don't shoot, but now just cruise. After all, in an Owen Bear collection, Sorosoke was merely a scented candle. And dead bodies are just mannequins to display Afrocentrism. Whose idea was it to fill up a room with the fragrance of a bloody flag and unanswered rhetoric? Who gave the order? But don't bother my brother. There are more important conversations to be had, like your fine regalia of tribal superiority tailored with little pockets of violence. Over here, competence is not as consequential as the consequence of your mother's ethnicity. Bro, relax, live a little. Oh, wait, I forgot, we're too busy dying for our right to. There is no difference between the middle class and lower class. We are all second class in a nation with no value for education. Last, last. Now everybody go chop breakfast. Or maybe not. With the way food prices are skyrocketing, you may think it is another airline. The next time you tell a Nigerian child, the sky is your limit, please consider the price of flight. <laughs> Why? Why do we treat our future like props for photo ops? What is the worth of your soul? Is it false campaign promises? The value narrow notes or just that bad do? But it is not that deep. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I to rewrite tragedies out of a hashtag into a poem? Am I the Lord's anointed? If I speak in different tongues, tell you that prosperity can be bought if you bribe God. Through your empty heads with scriptural promises only activated by your titan offerings, will I be God sent? Will I be prophet enough to lay holy hands on your head so you receive sense? Or do we just wait for the next crusade or trend? I know the Nigerian justice system is a Russian relay, but don't shoot the messenger. I am just a cowardly poet hiding behind a mic stand in plain sight. But remember my name, my face. If I ever become too much of a statistical figure to be summarized into a hashtag, hashtag justice for, isn't it weird that upright men are crippled by those who can stand for the truth? Isn't it weird that upright men are crippled by those who can stand? When the politics become the solution to erectile dysfunction, there is no acronym befitting to summarize a bad government. So I do not apologize if this poem is too multi-syllabic to fit into your MODs and LOLs, if it is too prosaic for social media, what counts and boxes of small-mindedness. Listen, I have learned to deal with unpleasant situations by finding humor in everything. It helps. The politicians in my country are walking me. Well, hey, hey, who cares? After all, it is not 